If you're a lifestyle photographer, somebody out there who is uh, looking to capture moments in time and life and you know, travel around the world and capture beautiful mountains or capture cars drifting in the snow like I was, or moments in the trip from going up into a snow cat or you know, sitting out there freezing, listen to these instructors in sub-zero degree weather, talk to us about how to drive a car, that's where this camera really shines. And it shines in a variety of different ways, some of the improvements that over the SL2 and SL2S respectively. I have my reporter right here, so we'll talk about the comparisons to that. But overall, and just the functionality of the camera system and how seamless it is between UI and camera body, because sometimes when you use these mirrorless camera systems out there, it feels like the user interface department is working on a different camera system than the design department is. And they try to merge the two together and it's not as cohesive as we would like it to be but the sl3 feels very much like an iphone where the software is designed for the device and that's the best way i can really kind of put into words of how this camera feels to use